you got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Yes, it's time for another Ask Camp Kennan question. And these questions are submitted by our Patreon supporters. And I just want to say thanks so much for being a Patreon supporter. And today's question is from Jonathan. And Jonathan asks simply, how do I know if my tortoise is well hydrated? Great question. All right, so first off, here's some sulcata tortoises. These guys are from Sub-Saharan Africa. Not a lot of water floating around their natural habitat, but here in Florida, we get frequent rains. So you can still dehydrate one of these tortoises by not having fresh water available at all times. So one of the things I like to do or look for is bright, clear eyes, okay? and making sure that they have just enough uh, moisture in there. They're not sunken. There's a lot of mobility. Uh, also seeing them drink is a big indicator. Um, but you know, have you ever seen the white stuff that your tortoise gets rid of out of its butt, out of its cloaca? That's called urates. And if the tortoise is well hydrated, it should have the consistency of toothpaste. If it's too powdery, that means you gotta start getting him more hydrated. And this guy's gonna come over here to me. Uh, so that's one way to indicate. And how do you hydrate your tortoise? Well, in addition to having water, uh, which for sulcata is, you don't just wanna have water. Sometimes I drop a hose uh, in a tree above the water bowl and let it ripple on the top because this rippling effect seems to mimic when the rain falls in their natural habitat. Remember, they don't really have standing water. What they have are downpours, the water collects into puddles, it's agitated by the drops, they run on over, they drink, 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 and they could potentially not drink again for a few months. So it's extremely important for them to get that water ASAP. Now, in captivity, we have, we're feeding them different foods, so uh, they're getting preformed water or water, water, there's my New York accent, water that's actually being taken out of their diet, out of the things they're eating. Um, that's another way. So if you want to get them hydrated, feed them watermelon. Watermelon, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but sometimes iceberg lettuce, because that's all it is, is water. It has no real nutritional value, but it will keep them hydrated. So if you add that in, with some of the more nutritious green lettuces and diets, uh, then you're gonna be keeping them hydrated as well. Uh, another way you can look for dehydration, if they'll let you, is if you squeeze, if you can squeeze them, you squeeze their little leg, and if it bounces back quick, that means they're well hydrated. If it doesn't, if it stays in that shape when you give them a pinch for very long, then you know they may need a little bit more hydration. This guy bounced right back, this female bounced back, so that's how you know that they are indeed getting the proper hydration. And right now, you can see Brutus right there, he's all spread out, just enjoying the shade. It was a nice hot day, gotta tell you. First real hot day it's been in a while, it's middle of February and uh, you know, we've had some kind of gray, cooler days. So I'm glad to see it nice and warm. So there you have it, uh, Jonathan. And I want to say thanks to everybody who is a Patreon supporter. If you want to become a Patreon supporter and get access to some little gifts and content that you don't normally get access to out here on YouTube, or if you would like to submit your own question, go to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan. And one more thing, go to the Camp Kennan Army and submit your own video of how you keep your animals. The channel is growing. We're really excited. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel too. We are busy bringing you the best reptile content we can and answering all your questions. So I hope today's question helped. Thanks again to everybody, and I'll see you real soon.